you guys it's electronic search 3.0 here and today we will be doing a review on my Vizio Razer LED E series whatever TV I know and it's not replaced this TV it's just a TV that I used to put notes on or stuff but today we will be doing a review on it and we will also be using um these I will move it over here and show you the direct TV boxes and stuff because I don't have an HDMI cord for the Apple TV but also this is the remote for the Apple TV it's basically just an old Samsung phone that I drew with marker on as you can see couldn't disable everything but it's basically just a remote for the Apple TV as you can see it just came on but also Another thing, I'm cleaning up a bunch of cans in my yard, and hopefully, whenever I get done, my parents will let me um, buy a TiVo with the money in here. Let's start with some pictures that I have on display on here, just for show. First, I have TiVo logos, the original, second TiVo logo, third TiVo logo, fourth, fifth, and sixth. I made that myself. That's for my mom to know. Here's just the default photo that came on the TV that I found in its ROM, so I put it on a USB drive. Here's a picture of a Vizio TV that was on our old Vizio TV that we have a long time ago. It, it was like a 2014 one, but the whole backlight died. Here's just another one, and the last photo's file is not supported. Now, this does have a homemade antenna plugged into it. I'm going to show it to y'all guys real quick. It's going to start playing, so let me mute it. But basically, it just is tinfoil and another piece of wrapped up tinfoil with two thumbtacks. One attaching the other piece of tinfoil. And then the other one is just to hold it in the um, antenna slot. But here's the remote for the Vizio TV. If I never. And on a Vizio TV. Even though there's a button that says guide, it doesn't actually take you to the channel guide. The way to get to the channel guide on a Vizio TV is you press the OK button. And then that's how, and you just click on any channel you want and just press exit to get rid of it. But yeah, say I wanted to go to, I have direct TV, I only have it on this TV because sometimes I just want to play music on this. But Quest, say I want to go to Quest, I click it and I click exit. Say I want to go to KTBS, the news, or, or stuff, I click that. And if I want to see info, I just click info once to get the channel, twice to get what's on, and three times to get the cha the, the um, episode, the signal, and what definition it is, like standard, high, etc., etc. So let's go ahead and unplug it. And put it over here real quick. This is going to be a little tricky, guys. So I'm going to remove the Apple TV. Sorry if you see random crap flying everywhere. Okay, well, hold on, because the other part of the antenna broke off, so I'm going to just throw the, away the other part of the antenna for it. And let me plug it up so we can do the review. I'm going to plug my direct TV box up to it. Sorry if y'all can hear me. What I was saying, basically, I had to unplug and move it, and I'm going to hook my direct TV box up to it. Now let's go ahead and take the HDMI from here, if I can find it, if I can even attach it. For some reason it's over here, and that's the power cord. And wherever the HDMI cord is, I can't get it. Well there it is. And Essentially, just going to hook it up to the Vizio. I'm 
Oh, sorry guys. I swear I'm gonna drop my camera. Okay, there, we got it hooked up now. Should just be able to turn the Vizio on, the DirecTV box on. And since this receiver has the old UI, it's actually going to be pretty cool. Oh, first, oh, it, yeah, I need to change it to the correct input, which I want to go to HDMI. Because this TV only has one HDMI port. As you can see, here it is with the old UI. This is actually pretty weird seeing it with the old UI on here, but I actually kind of like it. Oh, hey, it looks real nice on this TV, unlike my TV, which looks very funky. Let's go to Victorious. For example, here's Victorious. Here's, in, here's my recordings, and for example, let's go to Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil! Dr. Phil was weird. He's so dramatic. Yes, I can fast forward through the program and this girl's insane. And stuff, yeah. But yeah. It's a pretty nice. It is a pretty nice TV. Yeah, I can go to basically whatever I want on here and it'd be fine. If I still had to, I'd use this TV, but I have other, I have a better TV that I could do, so obviously I'd use my TV. But yeah, it's a pretty nice TV, so I'd use it for day to day, honestly, I really would. But yeah, that's my Vizio TV. Hold on, let me switch this back to my TV real quick. I'm going to soon be doing a review on this TV, my main TV, and then I will be doing a review on my grandpa's soon, because I already have a video on that. Sorry if y'all can't really hear me good, I'm not close to the camera, because the mic is on the top of the, it for some weird reason, but yeah. Also, would plug in my TiVo Mini to stream Mini 4K to it. But I honestly don't feel like doing it. But also, here's what I mean by the... By the UI looks funky. See, it's not normal at the top. And it's, but I've heard if you just change the resolution... But it... Even when I change the resolution, it doesn't fix it. Say... Honestly, 720p and 1080i are not different to me. You can't really notice the difference. Turn 720p on. How does that get on my TV? Yeah, did not fix it. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna do some troubleshooting here real quick. You did it. Hmm. They're kicking me out of Hollywood Arts. I am so sorry, baby. Is this remote working? Are you gonna cry? Yeah, it works. Do you wanna cry? Oh no. You're gonna cry. Here, let's move this dumb Vizio real quick. I don't know why I just called it dumb. It's really not. It's actually a really, really nice TV, honestly. Okay, let me go ahead and put it back in its original spot real quick, guys, here. Vizio goes right here. My 
much as I can, and then we will put it right here. Push the Apple TV remote charging cable behind the dresser. That way it will not ever, ever be seen. My cable management is a mess, honestly. Apple TV and its remote can go in closets since it's never going to be used ever again. Actually, now I could use it over here. Okay, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the Vizio TV, but I did promise to plug the dish hopper and other stuff to it, but I really don't feel like doing that. I'm too lazy. You'll need clips to hold, put it around, weights to hold it down because it gets windy outside. You can also use the old fashioned yeah. pull down. So, so comment, like, and subscribe. Whatever you want to use as long as it's. But comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all guys there. Bye.